Chinese doctor who tried to issue the first warning about the deadly coronavirus outbreak passed away two years ago on February 7th. Dr. Li Wenliang contracted the virus while working at Wuhan Central Hospital. He had sent out a warning to fellow medics on December 30, 2019, but police told him to stop making false comments. This was the beginning of the pandemic that has killed, to date, nearly 6 million people worldwide. But the Chinese authorities only wanted Li silenced. Dr. Li, an ophthalmologist, posted his story on Weibo from a hospital bed a month after sending out his initial warning. The 34-year-old had noticed seven cases of a virus that he thought looked like SARS, the virus that led to a global epidemic in 2003. On December 30, 2019, he sent a message to fellow doctors in a chat group, warning them to wear protective clothing to avoid infection. Four days later, he was summoned to the Public Security Bureau, where he was told to sign a letter. In the letter, he was accused of making false comments that had severely disturbed the social order. He was one of the eight people who police said were being investigated for spreading rumours. In his Weibo post, he described how on January 10, 2020, he started coughing. The next day, he had a fever and two days later, he was in hospital. He was diagnosed with a coronavirus on January 30, 2020. His last post on February 1, 2020 simply and poignantly stated, The test results came out positive. Everything is settled. It is confirmed. A wave of anger and grief flooded Chinese social media site Weibo when news of Dr. Lee's death broke on February 7, 2020. The top two trending hashtags on the website were Wuhan government owes Dr. Lee Wenliang an apology and we want freedom of speech. Both hashtags were quickly censored. Experts suggested that the death of Dr. Lee Wenliang was a heartbreaking moment for China. For the Chinese leadership, it was an epic political disaster. Experts added that it laid bare the worst aspects of China's command and control system of governance under Xi Jinping and the Communist Party were blind not to see it. If China's response to a dangerous health emergency is for the police to harass a doctor trying to blow the whistle, then the country's structure is obviously broken, experts had noted. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.